There's no hiding this insect problem. In some spots, everywhere you look, they're crawling. Some on trees, they prefer the oak variety. Others have moved onto structures. The gypsy moth, an invasive pest native to Europe, is certainly here in High Park in Toronto, but it's also found across southern and eastern Ontario in large numbers. The areas in red on this map showing moderate to severe infestation. Every seven to ten years, uh, this pest is right on schedule. The last time London had a big outbreak was in 2009. Jill Ann Spence, manager of urban forestry for London, Ontario, says that some park trees in the forest city have been almost completely defoliated. So last month, their plan to control the insect included spraying city lands from the air. The product we used is a, um, it's approved for um, organic use. It is a, um, a biopesticide and it only affects caterpillars that are in their feeding stages. So it will not impact animals, other types of insects such, such as bees. Despite the large numbers of these pests, Toronto has decided against spraying. The reason according to the city is the lack of large forested areas. It's important to note that the uh, type of treatment that is used is really dependent on the stage at uh, which the caterpillars are at. Biology professor Jean-Paul Paluzzi says that insecticides are most effective when the caterpillars are in their early development stage, which was earlier this past spring. But there are other ways to protect trees, like using a burlap barrier, ready to capture the pests as they crawl down to escape the heat because these caterpillars will go up and down uh, diurnally. And when they come down, you're essentially preventing them uh, from uh, getting back up and you can collect them, throw them into a bucket uh, with some soapy water and, and they'll perish and, and then you can dump them and use them as compost in your garden if you like. Mother Nature's cycle will eventually take hold too, with the caterpillars transforming into moths by mid-July. But these infestations can last two to four years. Their return next year will depend on the weather. Extended days of extreme cold can suppress their ability to reproduce, along with other factors. So ultimately, what will cause the population to collapse are natural factors. So the buildup of the virus and a fungus and a natural parasite that all start to build up in the environment. Spence says London is in its third year of the outbreak, with many hoping it's the last. Ross Hall, Global News.